Basically, I've always been athletic. For me, the situation that got me going with my career was watching the, the first UFCs. The moment I saw that, I was like enthralled with it. I just loved it. I saw this young, thin guy that looked not as, as built and athletic as other guys, but through technique, he was beating guys, you know, through his grappling, and that was Hoist Gracie. And I was like, you know what, I can do something like this. I, you know what I mean? I dreamt it. But luckily, I, I, I ended up with world caliber guys training with me. Josh Barnett, Jeff Munson, Dennis Holman, Benji Radich, Aaron Riley, Matt Hume. And it was an epic time. Maurice Smith was coming by, and I started studying it and watching it and reading about it. And we'd take obscure fights from Japan, Russia, Brazil. All kinds of variety of different fights and styles of fights and try to incorporate them. Shreesport, Louisiana was my first UFC 37. And um, I was nervous as heck. And the fight was epic. I, I really enjoyed it. It was one of my toughest fights. And the move from there, you know, people still use as the salivary, uh, which was really the front side crucifix. I fought quite a few times in the UFC from there. The transitions of not knowing anything to being able to fight and win, it's beautiful. I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud. I have a superb gym over in the downtown Seattle area that caters to people that enjoy mixed martial arts as a lifestyle, uh, competitors of all types, submission wrestlers, wrestlers, uh, boxers, kickboxers. And you can transfer that over to your job, to your family. It's that effort that, that to do better and be the best. I definitely want guys that are interested in MMA to be well-rounded. Good strikers, good grapplers. There's a lot of ways to learn MMA, but this is one of them. If you get to the levels of high athleticism, you get to the levels of high technique, that is nothing but a benefit for you. I think that's what you're gonna get from this.